So for today's video, I wanted to show you some DIY wall art. I got inspired by my little puppies. Little puppy one. And they come here, guys. Come here, come here. And little puppy two. Mwah. So I use them as my inspiration, but you can pretty much use anything you want. If you have a baby, you can use your baby as an inspiration. If you're conceited, you can use your initial as an inspiration. Uh, pretty much for anyone, I took my creativity and decided to print out a paw print to do this wall art. And um, so you can pretty much print whatever you want and just go ahead and use your creativity. It looks very, very pretty once it's hanging on your wall and I think you'll really enjoy these. Um, sorry. I think you'll really enjoy these and I think you'll have a lot of fun if you give them a try. So stay tuned. Bye. For the first one, you'll need a plywood 12 by 12, some paint, a paintbrush of course, nails, a yarn, some scissors, and I also forgot to mention you obviously need a hammer. Last but not least, you will need your printed design outline. I used my paw print as I mentioned. You can use whatever you want. We're going to start by painting out the 12 by 12 plywood. Again, this was the size I chose. You can choose a different size if you want to. I use silver because I'm trying to go for like a silver mint um, color around my room. Uh, you can use whatever color you want. So I pretty much painted the whole thing. I just did one coat depending on the color you choose. You might need another coat or two. After it dried, then I cut out my paw print all around and um, just put it over the plywood. Then I started tracing all around uh, my paw print so that I would know where exactly I had to put the nails on the plywood. Then I just started hammering down my nails. I just knocked them down about a millimeter because I wanted most of it to be outside of the plywood. That's what's really going to give it that 3D effect. You actually don't have to put them that close together. After a while, I kind of realized that, and you'll see it's not all together. So anyway, then you're going to use your yarn. You're going to do double knot on the first nail so that you know you make sure you secure it. And then you're just going to zigzag all around your paw print or whatever design you chose. And then afterwards, I actually started going around two nails at a time so that I would get that outline around the paw print but you know that's up to you at the end I just cut my string or yarn whatever and then I just tied it all around the nails and just hid it between the rest of the yard so that it didn't show and there you go and then I just continued with all my little paw finger thingy majigs you know and I really love this yarn because it was like a multicolor bluish greenish so it kind of created like this ombre effect that I really really loved. And that is it for the first DIY. Now while the plywood was actually drying, I decided to do one more thing and this is what I did. I had a little Pomeranian ornament and I wanted to hang it up on my wall somehow. So I used this frame from Michael, a brush, some yellow paint, and some extra wallpaper thing that I had. Then I started painting it, I realized it was too yellow, so I used some white um, to mix the yellow paint with to create a lighter yellow. And then, you know, I just started painting it all over again. Then with this shelf liner paper thing that I had, I traced it over and then I started cutting like about a centimeter away from the line to give it some space so that I could glue it onto the frame. I erased the line so that it wouldn't show and I used my E600 glue to glue it down to the wood. And then I just like took that extra paper thing that I had. And ta-da! Then I just painted my ornament white because I really didn't like the way you know the wood looked 
Um, once it was painted white, I just used my E600 glue to um, glue it down to my frame. If you don't have the ornament, I think it looks just as nice. But again, this was a dog inspired art, so duh, I wanted to use it. I hope you guys like this and stay tuned for more. Bye!